So you've got the shiny new Amazon Fire TV user interface, you've got a Harmony remote control and you want a one-touch access to your favourite apps like Kodi or BBC iPlayer. Well, I'm going to show you how. Okay, I'm going to show you in the Logitech My Harmony application uh, how I've set up my uh, Harmony Ultimate to launch applications, specific applications on my Fire TV. Uh, from the main screen, we're going to go to the buttons. We're going to change the, the on-screen buttons. So choose my activity, which is Fire TV. Go. And on the right-hand side here, I've got sequences. And these are some that I've already set up. Let's have a look at one of those. Here's the sequence. First command is home, then a pause for two seconds. Let's just work on the principle if you're inside some other app and it takes a second or two after you press the home button before the home screen appears. So I added a two second delay there. From the home screen on the new Fire TV user interface, I know that if I go direction down, 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 I'll be on the applications uh, row or drawer. And then I press OK because Kodi is the first application on my drawer. Let's cancel that. Let's have a look at uh, iPlayer. For iPlayer, iPlayer is the second uh, app on my Amazon Fire TV apps row. So the sequence is the same. Home, pause for two seconds, down, down, down. We're now on the uh, applications row. And then direction right once, and then OK. That's going to launch iPlayer. And for the ITV Hub, which is my next app, pretty much the same. But we've got two direction rights. So it's going to go right, right, and then OK. I'm now going to add a new sequence which is going to launch the Plex app, which is the fourth application on my apps row. Click Add Sequence. I'll speed this up so it doesn't get too tedious, but uh, I'll start by uh, entering Plex as the name of the sequence, and here we go. Okay, there we go, that's uh, all the steps programmed in. Click Save. Now I want this button to appear on my screen, so I need to drag it across and I'm going to put it there just below ITV Hub. And that's it. Ready? OK. And I just need to synchronise my... Oh, yeah, thank you Scruffy. That's my cat. Sorry. I just need to synchronise my remote control and uh, we'll be ready to have a look at it in action. So, let's uh, go down to the your apps and games row and as you can see there I've got uh, Kodi, iPlayer, ITV Hub and Plex in that order. Now the whole thing about this is you can't change the order of these. If you change the order of these your remote control shortcuts are not going to work are they? So from the home screen let's say uh, I was uh, doing something else. I was looking at some information on this program here. Alright so now I want to watch Kodi. So, on the remote, I just tap Kodi, go to the home page, and load up Kodi. Back to the home, ITV Hub. So ITV Hub is loaded up. If I now select uh, iPlayer, Straight to the home screen. We're in iPlayer. I think that's pretty good. Okay, we've got Plex, that's the last one that I added. Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so what I've done now is in the uh, Plex sequence, I've added a delay, one second delay, after two direction arrows to the right just before the third one, which should move it onto the Plex app, and then select OK. So let's see how that works. OK, so take two with the added pause in place. Uh, let's uh, move to Plex. There's the pause, and then Plex loads. Back to Cody. Yeah, 
all seems to be working. It just looks like there's that uh, small issue when we're on the apps row. That once you move across three times, you need to pause before you go on any further. There we go. The Harmony Remote Control launching apps directly on the Amazon Fire TV with the new user interface.